In verses 34 and 35, now you see this explicitly. Jesus leaves no room for misunderstanding. He says again, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Friends, the newness here oftentimes throws people because we know from Deuteronomy 6, we've already told that we're to love the Lord God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we know from Leviticus 19, 18 that we're to love our neighbor as ourselves. So, so where's the newness? The newness is that now the standard has changed. That now we're going to love as Christ loves. And we're going to focus on the one another. This is where koinonia becomes defined by Jesus himself. That the love within the church is the essence of the love within Christ. The first 12 chapters of John are about his public ministry where he's pouring out. In chapters 13 through 21, as we make our way home, it's the private ministry where Jesus is pouring in. The term love is used 12 times in the first 12 chapters. From here on out, it's 44 times. We're getting intimate now. This is all about that love. And the new commandment, the new commandment is that now we're to be the church. Now we're to be Christ-like in our love, especially for one another. Now with that understood, and remember, this is Jesus speaking right before the cross, and John has just had his mind blown watching Judas, the thought-to-be minister, now proven to be murderer, exposed. And John, as he writes his letter in 1 John, is expounding upon the words of Jesus in this most intimate and intense setting. Proof positive. 1 John chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. If we say that we have fellowship, koinonia, with Jesus, and yet we walk in the darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as Jesus himself is in the light, then we have koinonia, fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Jesus is making it clear in the upper room. John is making it clear in 1 John, and I pray I'm making it clear right here to you today that this love, this defines us. This is what we are to defend as the church. 